Hello everybody, welcome back to Warpath, and today I have a very special video about base defending, and how well my troops do with only three, guys. I have only three, I level 120, my mouse prototype, I level 100, my T3485, uh, and my 155mm howitzer. Now once again, that is a level 120, level 100, and I believe at the time of recording this, it was a level 40 is a howitzer. Look at all of these kills I got just for defending my base, guys. It is insane. And here we are about to sneak up, get our, uh, bring our medium tank out, and this is why I have that medium up so high. If you look over here, guys, I'm going to be attacking them. Very stealthy, I might add. Very stealthy, like so stealthy they didn't even notice. Look at that. Boom. Immediately dead. Alright, next tank. Who's up next? You? Alright, you're gonna get crushed too, boy. And you wanna hit their artillery or rocket launchers first just to get rid of that backup that they have. Now, at this point in the war, I'm gonna call it a war. Uh, at this point, it's pretty obvious we're gonna lose. But that doesn't mean you can't go and get some kills, if you, especially if you have a very powerful unit. And the medium tank I have isn't even that powerful. It's only like 200k. My mouse prototype is around 400, 460k. And as you can see right there, I'm taking out my mouse prototype to go and hit some of these tanks. Now the super heavy mouse prototype, oh, there they go again attacking me. The mouse prototype is very good at uh, hitting these heavy tanks, especially when it's so powerful. Obviously, when your unit is 400k and you're hitting 100k units, it's not going to go very well for them. Now, they're attacking my base again, but if you can see, we're just melting right through the troops because my defense is so high. And they're going to continue attacking and swarming me. Um... It's not very smart, guys, when you're when you're defending your base. If you're getting like swarm swarmed, this isn't very much. This is maybe like two to three people attacking me. When you're getting swarmed, you don't want to get your units outside the base to get, or you will lose the maximum amount of defense you could have. The only reason I'm doing this is because I'm not very worried about getting swarmed. Actually, you'll see uh, further along in the video that it's not until. KA1 or sorry KAY1 comes in and then that's when I get destroyed. Uh you know I you know what? I don't think I recorded that part. <laughs> We're not gonna spoil it though. Oops. But the main reason why I'm recording this small little scuffle, alright, this isn't even a battle. This is me running through a an alliance, really. If you're looking at it, this is all of KAY4. Not all of them, obviously. This is a lot of players trying to attack me, but failing. But like I said, the main reason why I decided to record this and I'm going to upload it is because when I was offline in KAY1 attacked me, guys, I got 800 kills. And I lost like maybe 100. It is insane the amount of... If you don't have a good tank for your for attacking a base you're going to die if you don't have infantry attacking first or some some guy attacks that's why it is so important to have a super heavy tank or uh, you know early game you'll have your infantry tank because it's just it's not worth swarming stupidly and everyone loses their units like what you're seeing right now this is what happens when they swarm you and they don't use their infantry or super heavies first. Now, the thing is also, well, you don't know, actually, I like this part. This is where EMPZ comes in and helps me because they seen I was attacking them by myself. Now, I think in this part, it's only two of their players helping me. But you know what? It's always nice to have a, a buddy in a war. But as you can see, you know, we, we got him pretty good. Since going from my five units to my three units, I went from five, I think I did, f sorry, four level 80s and one level 90. From going to there, to this level 120, level 100, level 40, I've gotten 
close to 6,000 kills. And this is over the period of not even a week. All right, as you guys can see, my last video, which was recorded over a week ago, but I didn't upload it till a few days ago, that I still had all my units. And I had just gotten the <laughs> other two seven stars that I used. I feel what a lot of players are missing, and I'm not saying this has to be for every alliance or every player, because obviously at the end of the day, numbers do matter. But what some players are missing, especially the big players, I've learned this, um, that they don't know that this you can have three massively powerful units, and it's just insane. I didn't even know that, and when I did it, guys, I was 4.8 mil. I took everything away. Once it's all said and done, I was like 4.5. I only lost that bit of power, but I in what I lost, I gained in field power. I gained in the ability to take down bases solo with these three units, guys. <laughs> Ugh. Imagine having five like that. It's just crazy. Oh, I'm so glad that I get to play this game. And to the KAY alliances out there, you did a good job. You got us. Um, as of time of me actually recording the voiceover for this, they uh, kicked us out of Dallas. <laughs> As I said earlier in the beginning of the video, of course, this is definitely a defeat for us. But I want to have some fun anyway and get some kills while I'm at it. And oh boy, did I get some kills. Oh my lord. <laughs> but uh, here we are going for another round of hitting their field players. Uh, this time I think I'm bringing the super heavy and the medium. Now, the thing is, super heavies, like, I was told that to get rid of my rocket launcher, my BM Urch, uh, because my super heavy will just go right through it, and I don't know, I don't know, that's not a, I mean, it's not not true, I'm, but it's just like, it's not that uh, powerful towards infantry. All right, so we're coming up to the end of the video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please like, please subscribe, comment, and share this with everybody. My next video is going to be an informative one. It'll probably come out uh, Tuesday, which is tomorrow. And with all that being said, Static is out.